Hello everybody. In this lesson, we continue with uh, uh, how to transmit the state uh, to list type using map function. Uh, so here, uh, now, now I want to uh, add the transaction object to a list of transaction. Yes. Uh, after pressing to this insert uh, transition button, the the object has been added to a list of object, a list of transition. Yeah. Uh, if you have many property uh, inside screen, you must add it into an object. So I call this object from class transition. Yeah. So we define a list of transition. Yes. Yeah. So where is transition? Uh, now I define. I copy this code and uh, yes, I copy this uh, name and create a new dot file. Uh, I, I uh, renamed it to transaction dot dot and I define a class transaction and I copy uh, these two property to this transaction transaction yes. So we define it. We uh, firstly we import the material app class transaction and I paste uh, string content and uh, double amount. Yes. So we define a constructor to create uh, an object from the two property. So uh, it is label argument. It has label arguments. Mean. Uh, you can initialize using your label uh, parameter and then uh, in um, here I import the transaction to uh, this file or this class I define the transaction to this class and uh, here I type transaction dot dot import transaction dot dot and uh, move down Uh, so here I, uh, I I define a list of transaction uh, with plural form. Uh, the object here is plural form, not singular form. Uh, and uh, the transaction here is a new transaction has been is a new transaction. Uh, the new transaction has been created from uh, the the information you type, and I define a blank transaction with content and about here okay and then i define a transaction list that is a transaction list and array of transaction i also initialize a blank transaction array so we call list transaction yes so here we have a transaction list a blank transaction list then in set state i uh, create a new objects of transaction uh, so I set the content to the text you type and I set the amount to the text you type yes I go here we become transaction dot amount yes and I replace this with uh, transaction dot content and I replace the amount with yes uh, you remember to add a open and close brace, curly brace, and here uh, to access a, the, the property inside the object, the transaction dot amount. Yes. And uh, adding more dollar. So when you type the, the input information content by a laptop, and the amount is about one thousand and twenty dollar in such transaction. Okay, so I see the pro the, the name the property names has been displayed to the snack bar. Yes, uh, it display about three seconds, about three seconds. Then you set state when you press. When you set state, the transaction has been added more, and the transaction here is called. A state, yes. And when the, the state is changed, the view is reload. And after it reload, it can refresh. 
the list view I defined later. So here's the transaction list. I I saw the transaction list transaction by calling two string two string yes and when you type by an iPhone and the amount here is nine and nine and press send okay uh, so here you can see yes press enter and you must override the two string you must implement the two string function the two string function allow you to display the detailed information about the existing object so you can display whatever you want any property in this uh, object can be displayed uh, in case of it uh, is private it's also okay no problem when you type and press insert transaction you can see the information below the snack bar and restart the application again and type your information again buy an iPhone and enter your price below yes insert okay yes. okay so here it display the information you type and it add to the existing list yes so in uh, I refactor this code a little bit I refactor the code a little bit so I I will remove the the the, the text view value when you you add new transaction to ensure that you have just add uh, the existing and prepare for the new transaction object yes and now I redefine the transaction to a blank uh, transaction and I set the the content controller the, the text of the input uh, the, of the text view I can set the text of text view through the controller yes for example content controller dot text is blank tree amount controller dot text is blank tree yes quite simple okay so now when you type your information and press insert transaction you can see the content has been displayed below through the stack bar yes. and uh, now test again it is okay test again uh, so here now I want to uh, to display the list yes display the list how to display the list uh, we can display we have a many type of display a list list view uh, column scroll yes many way to display so now I did display the object firstly type buy an iPhone and enter your information yes okay so now I change uh, okay what is this this problem is here so snake bar is good so no problem okay so now uh, I add a padding to this padding means a space you add a space between the flat button and the text view and we have many ways to do this you can use container add a container outside the flat button or button team outside flat button then uh, or I add a, a space the space you can use padding or size box the same yeah there are many ways to do you can add a padding uh, or add a space and I wrapped uh, the flat content inside the button team 
uh, that's with high you set the high for the button team and the child of the button team is a flat button when you when you uh, in case you type information and uh, press on the uh, on the flat button the action is called okay so you can set the high yes the high the high is about uh, 50 is enough I think it is enough and you customize the text by uh, set the style for uh, set text style you change the font size the font size to uh, 18 okay 18 is okay 18 uh, and it is constant because it assigned one time it's assigned one time and not change so you constant constant is better than final please use content as much as possible because the compiler will be faster when reading to an, a constant variable a constant value and here a children of column we add many list time list time mean a row yes a row we have many row we have many list time a list has many list time so the list time has uh, the, the index, uh, the, the, the title, the icon, and so we have uh, two text and one icon. We have a title, we have subtitle, for example, uh, computer, and it is a laptop computer to describe the detail. And the constant is uh, uh, on, on the left, or, or, or on the start of the list time, we have a leading. Leading means start icon. We add an icon here. So we can use the assisting icon access alarm. Yes, we have many icon with material design inside the library, inside of the material package of Flutter. Okay. So uh, Now wait a few seconds to run. Yes, what a problem with my code. My code is run a uh, long time, but I understand. So on tap when the, the action cone when you tap to the list time, it is something like on press on button. When you tap, it call the function. Yes. So on tap something like similarly to on press yes and when you tap it will display tap me tap me press me press me yes on tap or on press as I say uh, so I copy the list of widgets to uh, to to the list yes I, I, I can use uh, maybe list view okay no so in this lesson, I want to transmit between the object of transaction to the object of list time using map. Yes, map is a function that convert from uh, this array to another array. So we have two independent arrays. We have two independent array, an array of objects and an array of use interface. An object of transaction object and an object uh, and a list of list time. So map, uh, the syntax here is the array one dot map and conversion function and then dot to list to convert back to the list. The input is list and the output may be, will be list. We have a separated list with different kind, with different value, different type of value inside. And uh, now run again. Perform or restart if needed. So type your information by a laptop and the amount here. Enter your amount, money amount. Yes. And press insert transaction. Yes. Okay. 
So the list has been displayed here. If you press more, you can buy some, buy something, and you type some number. Yes. So here we have a list. Very easy to understand this. Use a list type. List type is very, very simple and flexible, but with more complicated uh, list, you can use list view and define your list item. Don't use list type in in uh, complicated. Yeah. And I replace this with uh, with with the, the value from the transaction object, and then I display the each object dot the amount each object of dot content. Yeah. And remove constant because now every type has different value from each transaction object so remove constant constant here not applicable yes. so you remove the the constant value the constant icon the constant text remove because unnecessary to use this in this case as yes, remove and rebuild your application again to see the output so perform hot reloading to remove all all existing uh, item in the list yes so for testing by typing my computer yes so by computer this is price and add more by the adding for example by an iphone yes by an iphone and you type the amount for about Five hundred dollar and uh, nine hundred dollar one two three that's right okay so we have a uh, two item has uh, it is refresh and insert to the existing list because now the transition here the transition list here is a state a state of this screen a state of this which is has uh, so you you can uh, display here the detail content when you press to ensure that you press on the right yes you click on my computer and then you click to buy an iPhone us uh, okay so click to a specific item inside the list okay so this is the end of my lesson today thank you very much for watching and nice to see you again.